thing for all of us is to remember the basics. First, wash your hands regularly and for 20 seconds. Don't get back into the old habits. Second, wear a face covering over your mouth and nose if you're in an enclosed space and in close contact with people you don't normally meet. I know uh, wearing a face covering feels odd to some people, I understand that, but face coverings do make it harder for the virus to spread, so please wear one uh, to protect others. Third, make space. Always stay two meters away from people you don't live with or one meter with extra precautions uh, like extra uh, ventilation screens or face coverings. Fourthly, if you have COVID symptoms, get a test and self-isolate. In England from Monday, we're introducing the rule of six. You must not meet socially in groups of more than six. And if you do, you will be breaking the law. This will apply in any setting, indoors or outdoors, at home or in the pub. The ban will set out in law uh, and be set out in law and it will be enforced by the police. And anyone breaking the rules uh, risks being dispersed, fined and uh, possibly arrested. This single measure replaces both the existing ban on gatherings of more than 30 and the current guidance on allowing two households to meet indoors. Now you only need to remember the rule of six. There will be some limited exemptions. For example, if a single household or support bubble is larger than six, then obviously they can still gather. COVID secure venues like places of worship, gyms, restaurants, hospitality venues can still hold more than six in total. Within those venues, however, there must not be individual groups larger than six and groups must not mix socially or form larger groups. Education and work settings are unaffected. I want to be absolutely clear, this is not, these measures are not a, a, another national lockdown. The whole point of them is to avoid a second national lockdown. We're working hard to increase our testing capacity to 500,000 tests a day by the end of October. But in future, in the near future, we hope we want to start using testing to identify people who are negative, who don't have coronavirus, who are not infectious. So we can allow them to behave in a more normal way in the knowledge that they can't infect anyone else with the virus. And we think, we hope, we believe that new types of tests, which are simple, quick and scalable, will become available. Mr. Mm -hmm and faster use of their powers to close venues for the breaking the rules and pose a risk to public health. Fines will be levied against hospitality venues that fail to ensure their premises remain COVID secure. We will boost the enforcement capacity of local authorities distancing from town and city centres and by setting up a register of environmental health officers that local authorities can draw a draw upon uh, for support. We will simplify the passenger locator form needed for travelling to the UK and take measures to ensure these are completed and checked before departure to ensure arrivals are complying with the quarantine rules. We will also restrict the opening hours of premises initially in some uh, local areas. At the present time, we must also, I'm afraid, revise plans to pilot larger audiences in venues later this month and review our intention to return audiences to stadiums and conference centres from the 1st of October. That doesn't mean we're going to scrap the programme entirely. We just have to uh, review it and, and uh, abridge it. And the Culture Secretary will say more about that shortly. I want to be absolutely clear. This is not, these measures are not a uh, another, this is not, these measures are not a, uh, another national lockdown. The whole point of them is to avoid a second national lockdown. By 
bearing down on social contra uh, contact and improving enforcement, we can keep schools and businesses open in the knowledge that they are COVID secure. I've always said schools and colleges should only ever be shut again as a very, very last resort. As the uh, Chief Medical Officer, Chief Scientific Advisor have said, uh, the long-term risks, the children's life chances of not going to school are very significant and far greater than the health risks now uh, of going back to school, far, far greater. Indeed, it's been fantastic to see so many children back in school this term and I want once again to thank all our teachers and to reassure parents, pupils, that schools are safe. University terms will also begin soon. Now, opening universities is critical, again, for a students' life chances. And again, the health risks to individuals are low. Of course, many students, many university students, are in the age bracket where we've seen the infection rates rise recently, as Chris was just explaining. My message to students is simple. Please, for the sake of your education, for your parents and your grandparents' health, wash your hands, cover your face, make space, and don't socially gather in groups of more than six now and when term starts. And we think, we hope, we believe that new types of tests, which are simple, quick and scalable, will become available. And they use swabs or saliva and can turn around results in 90 or even 20 minutes. Crucially, it should be possible to, to deploy these tests on a far bigger scale than any country has yet achieved. Literally millions of tests being processed every single day. And that level of tests would allow people to lead more normal lives without the need for social distancing. Theatres and sports venues could test an audience, uh, all, all audience members, one day and let in all those with a negative result, all those who are not infectious. Workplaces could be opened up to all those uh, who test negative in the morning to behave in a, a way that, that was uh, exactly uh, as in the world before co COVID. And those isolating because they are a contact or quarantining after traveling abroad could, after a period, be tested and released. Now, that's a, an ambitious agenda, but we're going to pilot this approach in Salford from next month with audiences in indoor and outdoor venues. And then we hope to go nationwide. I'm standing with you girl